Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabby and I'm so glad that you're here today. In today's video, I am going to be doing a review on the new ColourPop No Filter Concealers as well as their new pressed bronzer and highlighters. And I actually filmed this video another day ago, but my whole, all of my footage was out of focus. So I'm just going to give you the same thoughts that I gave in the last video that I was going to put up and just show you how it looks on the skin and all that good stuff. So if you are interested in seeing how the ColourPop concealer, bronzers, and highlighters work, then keep on watching. And as always, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! Okay, so I have zoomed you guys in, and I am just gonna pull my hair back really quickly. Do you like my uh, kitty ears? I feel like a real YouTuber. Okay, so with me I have the ColourPop concealers, which look like this. The powdered highlighter, which looks something like this. And the powdered bronzer, which looks something like this. So I am going to go ahead and try out the concealer. I've already put my foundation on and I've done my brows. Um, so I'm going to do the concealer first and then we'll powder and then we'll do the bronzer and the highlighter too. So I have on the ColourPop website right here just the description of the concealer so we can see kind of what we're looking for in the concealer's um, use and how it applies and stuff like that. So it says, our lightweight creamy concealer was formulated with soft blurring pigments to give you a crease proof matte finish. No filter needed. Okay, cool. So this concealer is going to be creamy, lightweight, and it'll be blurring, and it'll also be crease proof and matte. So those are the things we're going to be looking for when we use this concealer. So I'm just going to put this on. I got the shade Beige 25, which I bought it online, so I'm kind of, you know, worried to see what it looks like, but we'll see how it looks. So I'm just going to put this in the normal areas where I would conceal under my eyes and then and where I would highlight. So my forehead, my nose, keep it bow chin. In this concealer, oh, also the doe foot on this is like flat. I don't know if you can tell. It's flat and then it's kind of like, it doesn't have like a rounded shape like normal concealer or like a liquid lipstick doe foot would have. It's very flat and it, um, I think it's very useful because it like it distributes a lot of products. And it's very spongy so it's not, it doesn't hurt I guess. I'm a little worried about the shade. I know it's picking up on camera. It's very like, it looks almost yellowy on camera which is something I go for but in real life it almost picks up a little pink. Which is something I'm a little worried about but um, we'll just see how it looks and rock it I guess. So I'm just gonna use a blending brush to blend this in. It was easy to apply and it was, I can um, understand the claim where they were saying that it's creamy. It is very creamy. It's not like a thick consistency. It's easy to, um, it was easy to apply and as I'm blending it's easy to blend as well. I could have gone for a shade lighter however this is fine, but I like to have a very bright under eye, but this, this is good. And it's not hard to blend out on the face. Sometimes if you get like really thick concealers, they can be a little difficult to blend, but this one is just really easy to blend so far. mirror really quickly yeah so far it looks really good like there's no cakiness I would consider this concealer probably like a medium coverage I feel like I mean I don't have very aggressive under eye circles so I can't say whether or not it will like con conceal those but I feel like right off the bat just going in with the amount I did is probably a medium coverage but I feel like 
if you wanted to blend it or if you wanted to build it up it could be very um, buildable so far it looks really good I'm really impressed with how it blended out and I feel like if you were going to go for a medium coverage you could totally do that you could just do one layer but if you wanted to build it up I found it's it's still buildable as well and it doesn't make the foundation or the other concealer that you put on look cakey or anything so I think that's good I also think that it doesn't enlarge my pores it doesn't make them look larger than what they are so that's good too and I find that the concealer under my eyes isn't cakey either so like right under my eyes isn't cakey either okay sweet so so far so good with the concealer I am gonna go ahead and powder my face and then we will come back to do the bronzer and highlighter. Alright, so now that I've powdered my face, I'm going to go ahead and put to the test the bronzer. And we're just going to try out the shade and I'll give you my thoughts on it and see how it looks. So I got the color Rodeo Drive. I And I love the packaging of the new bronzers and highlighters. I think ColourPop has really stepped up their game when it comes to putting out products that are very inexpensive but high quality. And I really like how these look. I I just, it feels like a high-end bronzer to me, so that is really nice. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch this and show you what it looks like. This color is super duper pigmented and it's very creamy to the touch. Like I, when I first tried it, I noticed as soon as I swatched it that it was very creamy and I was really interested to see how this would transfer on the skin because sometimes it may feel creamy but it can be hard to blend so yeah so we'll go ahead and try this out now I am gonna take my Morphe this is the R7 bronzing brush and I'm just gonna use this on my face to bronze my cheeks there's a little bit of kick up when you dip into the pan so just be wary of that and I'm going to super duper tap off the excess just because I don't want to go in too heavy handed because this is a very very pigmented bronzer and I don't want to put too much product down and then not be able to blend it of course so I'm going to start on my cheekbone and I'm just going to blend this in <laughs> So far it looks really nice. It's very like, I feel like because I'm doing such a light amount of product, it you can build up the bronzer very nicely and it gives you like a sun-kissed glow. I feel like it's a very nice bronzer shade for my skin tone. Yeah, I really like how this looks. I find that this is a very nice color, especially for my skin tone. It wasn't hard to blend at all. It, blend, it blended so seamlessly. Like, I was expecting maybe it to be a little difficult or come out a little muddy, but I feel like it didn't come out muddy at all. And it looks really nice on the skin. It makes it look like you've been, you know, just sun-kissed. So, I really like this so far. I'm definitely going to continue to to use this and see how it goes. So then, to the last thing, we are going to be trying out the highlighter. And I got this one right here. I believe this color is called Bougie Call. I, if I'm wrong, I will put it in the description box. Well, I'm going to put everything in the description box as always, but I believe the name is called Bougie Call. And it's a very, like, true gold color. Really pretty. So I'm going to give it a swatch. I don't know if you can really see that even. I'm just going to show you here. I'm kind of going really in with this because the first swatch didn't come out very well. There you go. Now you can kind of see. It's not as creamy as the bronzers once watched, but I am interested to see how it wears on the face because sometimes swatches can be deceiving. So yeah, we will try this out. I'm going to be using my Morphe M510 brush, one of my favorite highlighting brushes. And I am going to put this, I'm just going to go like this, tap it off, and I will put it on the cheekbones. Oh wow. Okay, see that swatch, like I said, that swatch is deceiving because when you put this on your skin, 
it's I mean you can tell it's there right like so huh that's interesting but that just goes to show why you try it out and you don't just go based off of a swatch and this is really pretty I love this color this along with this bronzer looks really good too oh my nose all right so this is the highlighter all done and I am really liking how it looks the swatch did give me a little hesitation but it is really pretty and I love the color of this I find that it complements my skin tone very nicely and I'm interested to try some other shades from the ColourPop highlighters so I am really liking these so I am going to go ahead and finish off my makeup and I will be right back to give you my thoughts. Alright guys, I am back. I have finished my makeup and I am going to give you my final thoughts on the ColourPop concealers, bronzers, and highlighters. So for the concealer, I really like it so far. I found that even when I powdered and after doing all my makeup, it still looks good. I don't have any issues with it. Um, I find that it doesn't make my pores look enlarged or anything like that, so I'm interested to keep using it and see how it works. And I will just go ahead and give you like an update in the description box to see how it wore throughout the day, the crease, if it caked up, all that good stuff. So I will let you guys know, so be looking out for that in the description box. As far as the bronzer and the highlighter, they still look really good. I love the bronzer still. It still looks very, you know, sun-kissed and... Um, bronzy of course <laughs> um, but yeah and the highlighter is, is still you know very highlighting very pigmented so I am really loving these products so far I will definitely continue to use them and maybe you will see them in a video in the future because I love them so much um, but yeah so this completes this video guys and um, as always subscribe to my channel like this video if you liked it, and let me know your thoughts on the ColourPop concealers and highlighters and bronzers. If you have them, what do you think of them, and all that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.